Hi everybody, it's Honest John again. Um, there was a mass shooting in Las Vegas last weekend. This is barely news. Mass shootings are about as common as a cold nowadays. The one in Vegas was only one of three that occurred in the United States last week. But Jared and Amanda Miller were motivated by right-wing ideology. They even covered the bodies of the first two victims, a couple of police officers who were having lunch, with the Gadsden flag. You know, the one that says, don't tread on me. You see it all the time at Tea Party the demonstrations. They bragged to neighbors that they had been at the Clive and Bundy Ranch during the standoff with the government. And they shouted, this is the first day of the revolution before they started shooting. And of course they were very big on the Second Amendment. One of the common talking points among gun rights activists is that they need their guns to overthrow the government if it turns out into a dictatorship. Maybe they haven't noticed that here in America we have these things called elections in which for better or worse we the people choose our leaders. So how would overthrowing a democratically elected government be striking a blow for freedom. But if you look at the rhetoric on the right, we're already in a dictatorship. Even though the president got five million more votes than the other guy, somehow his being in office doesn't reflect the will of the people. But in this deluded state, they see themselves as protectors of our freedom. A lot of those people who resist every effort to implement some sensible gun laws do so because secretly they see themselves doing exactly what the Millers did. It's interesting, the rhetoric of the Millers and the use of the Gadsden flag illustrate just how far to the right the Tea Party has dragged the Republican Party. When you listen to white supremacists, Nazis, and right-wing militias, and then listen to mainstream, quote, conservatives, you can barely tell the difference between them. Thanks for listening.